Today, Google hardwires Google Plus powered objects onto their search results page in the form of one boxes. Over a third of all desktop searches on Google include local intent. That searches like Dentist London. This makes local the largest category of answer boxes Google delivers to users. Local one boxes come in a few forms. In Europe, they most commonly come in the form of seven packs and three packs. Interactive maps connected to seven or three business pins. Not long after the United States Federal Trade Commission decided to settle its antitrust investigation against Google, they rolled out a new object called the Carousel, which now appears for most local business searches when you have a US IP address. According to Google, using Google Plus to power these objects is better for users because they directly answer the user's query. But by using the Google Plus ecosystem to power these answers, Google disregards the third-party ecosystem of local reviews. If we know the answer, it is better for the consumer for us to answer that question so that they don't have to click anywhere. And in that sense, we tend to use data sources that are our own because we can't engineer it any other way. Is it possible to power the Google Plus local objects using Google's relevance algorithm? A group of engineers from different companies in the local search industry put our heads together to determine if this is possible. We built a proof of concept in the form of a Chrome extension. We call the widget Focus on the User Local a phrase we borrow from google.ie forward slash about. Here is what a search for Hotels Bilbao Spain looks like on Google today. As you can see, there are 137 total reviews within the one box powered by Google+. When we activate Focus on the User Local, we effectively turn on the Google algorithm inside the one box. Now we see that Google's generic search algorithm believes TripAdvisor is a much better answer to the question, where can I find a good hotel in Bilbao, Spain? This may be because there are over 2,081 total reviews between seven businesses in the one box. Notice we offer a permanent link for Google Plus in case people want to toggle to those results. We also offer toggle links to the sites powering the generic search results to filter by source. So what is the software actually doing? It's pretty simple. When our search for Hotels Bilbao Spain is conducted, the widget runs an invisible search in the background. In the invisible search, we introduce a fairly simple combination of search operators. So instead of just searching for Hotels Bilbao Spain and trusting what we see on the first page is the most relevant, we give Google a few additional instructions. Hotels Bilbao Spain effectively becomes Hotels Bilbao Spain site colon tripadvisor.com or site colon zocdoc.com or site colon yelp.com, etc. The point is to string together the top local review websites who specialize in offering helpful reviews of local businesses, then letting Google decide how they stack up against one another given a particular query. From these organically powered results, it pulls the top seven most reviewed and highest rated and swaps out Google Plus's results. Focus on the user local includes dozens of the top local review websites in the world, but one of the most important domains we include in this string of sites is the location of Google's own proprietary ecosystem, Google Plus Local. That ensures every search done by Focus on the User Local includes plus.google.com as a candidate for relevant results. It does not bias toward or away from any particular site. It just asks Google. Let's try another example. Hairdresser London UK. In the Google Plus box today, we see 84 reviews. But when we turn on Focus on the User Local, we see the Google algorithm believes Yelp is far more relevant than Google+, and is capable of filling the box with a total of 150 reviews. As is the case in most examples we could find, Google believes a third-party website, Yelp in this case, ranks higher than its own Google Plus powered content. Let's try the same test for Pediatrician NYC. On Google today, we see 27 reviews, but when we turn on Focus on the User Local, we see 289 reviews. If you were taking care of a sick child in New York City, which results would you prefer? The hardwired results from Google Plus or the results preferred by Google's own algorithm? Finally, let's try the same test for Cardiologist in Mountain View, home of Google headquarters. Google Plus only has one review out of seven businesses in the entire one box. But when we turn on Focus on the User Local, we see 274 reviews. Focus on the user local shows that Eric Schmidt's testimony to the United States Senate might not have been entirely accurate. We tend to use data sources that are our own because we can't engineer it any other way. Google doesn't have to draw exclusively from its own data sources. There is another way. But what about his other point? If we know the answer, 
it is better for the consumer for us to answer that question so that they don't have to click anywhere. Since we've devised a way for relevance to power the answer box while preserving a way for users not to click anywhere, is it still better for consumers, as he suggests? How would one even measure such a claim? In order to measure this, we asked thousands of users to imagine a scenario where they would perform a particular search. After the users were primed with intent, they conducted a simple one-click test and received a small amount of compensation for their time. An experimental set of search result examples powered by the Focus on the User software was randomly shown to some users while a control group, status quo Google, was shown to others. The results showed a significant increase in click engagement within the map box when organic search was used to power the box. These results prove that consumers would actually prefer results powered by Google's algorithm instead of Google+. If Google were truly interested in focusing on the user, wouldn't it make sense to power its non-fact-based answers with a generic search algorithm instead of Google+. Plus?